This is a book of Plows, Plains and Palaces by Percy Wilson Carruthers, DFM, MD. And on the back it says, As a young boy growing up on a farm in the Lake District, Percy Carruthers dreamed of becoming a pilot. He joined the RAF in 1937 and went on to gain his wings in time to serve as a pilot in World War II. He flew Blenheims, Bostons and Baltimores and saw action over the battlefields of North Africa where the fighting was fast and furious. He and his crew participated in many incident-filled operations until they were shot down over enemy territory and Percy, the only survivor, was taken prisoner. Then a new story began, one of courage, determination and comradeship, as he and his fellow POWs endured the inhuman conditions and punishment meted out by the German captors. This is a book filled with incident, excitement and good humour. If you were there, it will bring it all back to you. If you were not, it will give you an insight into the way it was. And this book was published in 1992. And... It has quite a few pictures in it and drawings and it's the guy's story of his area of service and of interest is that there called a Kriegi coal plaque. Apparently a Kriegi was a name for RAF prisoners of war. And then his experiences back home and then the Kriegi Call Roundel and the formation of the, the Kriegi Clubs. Now, when he went to a Kriegi meeting in 1983, he was presented with this bayonet. And the bayonet, it's a European Mauser bayonet. Now, in 1983, this bayonet would not have been considered a collector's item. Um, in the 1980s, there were some bayonets that were just uh, second-hand um, surplus items and had no real value among bayonet collectors. And it was true of European Mauser bayonets. Something like this in 1983 would have been five to ten pound. So it, it wouldn't have been of any real value. But what the people did that presented him with this bayonet, they actually engraved it. If I bring that down... And we can read what it says. It says, Percy W. Carruthers, DFM. Then it says, Bath, Heidelberg, Gross Teichau, 1942 to 1945. Now they were names of the POW camps he was in. And it says, from your Kriegi friends, from your RAF POW friends, you had it engraved. And it says Sewell, 80 to 83. Sewell, to place in England. And 80 to 83 was the, was the meeting of the Kriegis. So he was presented with this bayonet in 1983. So it was engraved round about 1983. As I say, it's just a, a European Mauser bayonet. They probably picked it because it looked like a German bayonet. But how nice of them to engrave it for him. Percy W. Carruthers, DFM, Bath, Heidelberg, Gross Teichau, 1942, 1945, from your Kriegi friends, Sewell, 8083. So quite a nice piece of kit to a, to a local block. Um, this came available upon the sale of his estate and all his medals were sold as well. But the guy that got that didn't get them. So yeah, Percy Wilson Carruthers, presentation of bayonet to an REF POW. Oh, no.